Aquarius, welcome to your love reading for July 1st to the 11th for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So for all my newbies, I always do a meditative session and then I get into the pre-shuffle, then I get into your actual reading, all right? Then we usually pull some advice for you from the Spirit Animal deck. So Leo, I love your energy right now. It's actually kind of cute. They were showing me sleeping lions. <laughs> it's really cute. Um, and it's interesting, Leo, I think you're recharging right now. You're recharging, you're resting. And I think that's because you know something's coming. You know something's coming because some of you are actually planning it. Some of you are actually planning whatever this big thing is that's to come. Others, you just know something's happening. You can just feel it and you're like, all right, let me just get ready. Let me just recharge. Let me recharge. Let me rest. Let me get ready. Leos, you've been through a lot. A lot of you are in an ongoing battle here um, with a significant other or someone at your job, someone in your family. And it's been very exhausting. It's been very draining on you. Very draining. And it's like you just keep trying to deal. You just keep trying to push. But you're like, you know what? I need to rest. Don't bother me. Like, don't bother me. Let me just sleep. Let me recharge. Let me bask in the sun and sleep in the sun. Let me just like, just let me be for a little while. It's like you're trying to find your little zen place. You're trying to find your little zen place. Please go out in the sun, by the way, especially during this time with all this crazy energy. Fire signs, you guys need the sun. You do. Especially Leos. Especially Leos. Oh my god, I love my mom is a Leo and I love her to death. She is such a lizard such a lizard she will sit on a rock and she'll just like <laughs> just soaking it up like a solar panel um you need to be that you need to be that right now that's really going to help you recharge for whatever it is that's coming again some of you are planning it some of you are actually planning it actively is what i'm getting um sorry they're giving me stuff all this war stuff i mean my god for aries we had d-day we had doomsday um for you they, they actually gave me that quote um don't wake the sleeping giant. Very, very much Pearl Harbor. Oh, interesting. Hawaii. Now I'm seeing Hawaii. Anyway, don't need to go there. That's like, that was just, anyway, energy, energy attached to that. Don't need to, do not need to go there. But all this war stuff for fire signs, what's going to come in for Sag? I'm curious. But anyway, um, Leo, you don't want to be poked right now. You're dangerously, no, I'm not going to say dangerously close. You're close though to kind of losing your shit because you've been dealing with a lot and you've been trying really hard to just stay balanced and like you're you're in a place of trying to decompress to get whatever agitation frustration out that's been bothering you because you know it's not healthy you know it's creating an energetic block um you're just trying to deal with it get it out of your system so that you can prepare for what's coming and like i said for some of you you're planning something big that's coming you're trying to get prepared for that it's like do not poke me do not poke me. Do not disturb me. Let me stay zen. Let me stay in my happy place. Let me just stay here. A lot of you are realizing how unhappy you really are in your situation, which is why some of you are doing some active planning here um, for whatever it is that's coming. So definitely recharge as much as you can, Leo, because I feel like July is going to not be hard on you. It's just going to bring in a lot for you to get you to your happy place. And that's the theme this month. So expect that for a lot of my reads, guys. This is the theme of the month for everybody getting to your emotional fulfillment what truly makes you happy and leo you have not been happy and you've been very aware you've been trying to make it work because you're very loyal you're very loyal people you're very very big hearted very generous and you've been trying really hard to make it work and it just hasn't been working and you're getting to the place like okay time for plan b <laughs> through z you know it's like time to really figure out what to do from here on out. And like I said, some of you are actively planning this. So your pre-shuffle is only three cards, okay? It's only three cards. Ten of Cups in reverse, Piscean energy. Ten of Wands, Sagittarian energy. And then we have the Page of Wands here, okay? Um, <laughs> yeah, see, Leo, look at, look at what you've been dealing with. Look at this. The Ten of Cups is usually like, um, it's all about emotions, but it's specifically in the home and with family. Your living situation or people in your soul tribe, inner circle, family, people you live with, it's been a big burden. It's been a major burden on you, Leo. And you're just sort of like, I don't know what to do. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I just fucking can't. I can't. I'm feeling your energy. You're so tired. Leo, go take a nap. I know some of you are already taking a nap, but go and rest some more. This has been very stressful on you, very burdensome. And then we have the page of wands. A lot of your creative ideas are coming to light where it's like, okay, you know what? I know a way out of this. I can get out of this. I can. I know I can. And it's thanks to all this energy that's really pushing you, motivating you, especially because we do have a lot of Leo energy that we're working with. Um, Mars and Leo, Mercury and Leo. What else is going on, Leo? I know there's more. No coming. There's more coming. Anyway, towards the end of July, there's a lot more Leo energy. But for now, Leo, 
you're trying to strategize a way out of the situation. And like I said, for some of you, you already know something's coming. So you're trying to get prepared. You're trying to get prepared. On the bottom of the deck, we do have, wow, the tower. Underneath that, we have the moon. <laughs> what did I say? Something's coming and it's because of this energy and the tower is coming down. Guys, Eclipse Energy is notorious for pushing people in and out of situations abruptly because it's not for your highest good to stay where you are. And Leo that's definitely going to be happening for you. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get into it. For anybody who has questions, curiosities, or confusions on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer, go ahead and check out the link below. Okay. All right. Any messages for Leo regarding love, July 1st to the 11th, especially with your birthday season coming up, you know, there's going to be a lot of shit going on. You're getting ready. You're recharging. You're getting prepped. You're, it's almost like you're it's almost like you're training for war a little bit. It's like you're just getting mentally prepared for the shit storm that's coming and for some the shit storm you're bringing, okay? To your environment, to your environment, to your inner circle, to your family, to your home environment. All right, you're you're not you're not going to be dealing with being unhappy anymore. It's just it's just not going to be the standard anymore. That's it. It's just not going to be standard, but right now it's rest time to get yourself ready. Any messages for Leo regarding love, July 1st to the 11th? Any messages for Leo regarding love, July 1st to the 11th? Any messages for Leo regarding love, July 1st to the 11th? One more. All right, that feels good. Okay. Wow, they really want to talk. Any messages for Leo regarding love? Ah! God damn it. The tower. Scorpionic energy could also be Aries because this is Mars influence, influence, which is in Leo. All right. It is in Leo as of, I believe, as of today, as the day I'm filming, July 1st. Let's see what else we got. So the tower's coming. Like I said, some of you know it, some of you are causing it. Any messages for Leo regarding love, July 1st to the 11th? It, it has to come down. They're, well, my guides are like, <laughs> my guides are all over those. It needs to, it needs to, it needs to. Like, it's almost like they're clapping at the tower card, like applauding it. Any messages for Leo regarding love, July 1st to the 11th? Any messages for Leo? Uh-oh. <laughs> Seven of Swords, Aquarian Energy. Seven of Swords is the Deceit card, it is the Sabotage card, it is the Lying card. It's also the Thinking Out of the Box card. It's also having to do something in a different way, having to be under the radar. Like I said, Leo, some of you are planning, and some of you are planning an escape, okay? <laughs> Hands down, some of you are planning an escape and bringing the tower down because of it, because you are not happy, and all you can think about is how you need to be happy. But we'll get into that and see what else is going on here. But definitely, this is having to be under the radar, um, so that people don't realize what you're up to and people could be treating you this way. But either way, it's a little bit of sneaky behavior. I just got to be honest. Any messages for Leo regarding love? July 1st to the 11th. So we got here. Wow. Oh my God. Three of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy and the Three of Swords, Moon and Libra energy to be specific. Ugh. We're actually dealing with moon in Aquarius and moon in Libra. So you could be dealing with someone who has a moon in Libra. You could have a moon in Libra or moon in Aqua, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, also moon in Capricorn. But guys, a lot of moon energy here because of the eclipse. Um, this is definitely third party situation energy, which I don't like. You guys know how I feel about that. Third party can just be meddling. It doesn't have to be cheating. But with the seven of swords, guys, and the three of pentacles in a verse, which is like, I'm not going to be... On the same page with you i'm not going to be discussing plans with you maybe with someone else um leading to some major heartache here oh my god this is big leo this is pretty big it's not third party for all of you and like i said meddling doesn't always have to be cheating it can be an external force like spirit trying to get you know get things made right in your situation but this is definitely some heartbreak because someone does not want to be a team player anymore and leo i think you don't want to deal with the bullshit. You don't want to deal with the bullshit. You don't want to deal with anyone who's not interested in making sure you're happy. Any messages for Leo regarding love, July 1st to the 11th? Any messages for Leo regarding love, July 1st to the 11th? I'm 
you guys see that one flew out. I love when they do that. Ace of Wands in reverse. Yeah, someone's lost passion for the situation. Someone's lost desire for a person or a situation. And like I said, Leah, you're just fucking sick of it. You're fucking sick of it. It's like, where's my happy? When are you going to care about my happy? I guess I need to start caring about my happy. You know, very much that kind of energy. Overall, we do have a Nine of Pentacles. Virgo energy, also my pre-Empress card. This is being very single, very independent, very confident, and very abundant in your own right. I can do battle by myself kind of energy, okay? That's definitely your energy. You're taking control. You're taking control just like a Leo does, and you're not putting up with anything less than um, what you deserve, which is beautiful. I mean, everyone needs to be doing that. Let's look at this tower a little closer, okay? Using Rider weight to clarify. If I can pick it up. <laughs> All right. Oh, Leo. Tell me about the tower. <laughs> Sorry. I, some of you are going to be having an argument where it's like, listen to me. Like, some of you are getting really worked up because someone really doesn't listen to you. Oh, oh, I don't want to be around for that conversation. Uh, tell me about the tower. For Leo, regarding love, July 1st to the 11th. Tell me about the tower. Okay, whoever that is, we got it. We got it. Stop, stop talking to me. <laughs> Tell me about the tower. I just heard you're going to listen to me. You are going to listen to me. Tell me about the tower for Leo, regarding love, July 1st to the 11th. I'm definitely hearing a couple fight. It, it's like not stopping either. I'm definitely hearing a couple fight. You, whoever you are, you must be just a, um, on my same frequency, like my exact frequency, because I'm actually hearing this whole argument and I'm trying to shut it out. Um, tell me about the tower for Leo regarding love, July 1st to the 11th. Oh my God, Leo, you're being, I'm sorry. I, I got to push this argument out, but it's coming to me for a reason. You are being so rough with this person. And I'm not saying you're wrong or right. I'm just, I'm just a little, ta I'm just a little taken aback. It's very much, you're going to do this. You're going to have to do that. And if you don't do this, then this, it's like, there's no, there's no denying you. Okay. Tell me about the tower. Okay. It's gone. Okay. I must've just had to say that just to say, just to get that out there for you. Tell me, uh-oh. Nine of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy. So this tower's coming down because you haven't been feeling like this. You haven't been feeling like your awesome, confident, radiant, sunny Leo self. You've been feeling very much like this. Um, mm, you've been feeling like... It's interesting, Leo. I'm like, I'm, I'm a little surprised, but I, I get it. It's like, it's like one of those like slow drip situations. Like... Someone has slowly been taking little bits of your confidence away. Someone's been slowly taking little bits of your stability away. But I feel like that stability is more about like your mental state, which is why you're so fatigued. Because it's like, I feel like it's commentary. It's like something about the words. It's their commentary. It's like, you'll hear something, you're like, uh, <laughs> whatever. Um, but it's gone on for such a long time that they're doing it more and more like the slow drip. Okay, Leo, let me get away with that. What else will Leo get, get? What else will Leo let me get away with? Right, slow drip, slow drip, slow drip, slow drip, making you nuts. I, even doing that just made me a little crazy. Um, you're not having it anymore. Tell me about the tower. King of Wands, Leo energy it could also be fire or air. I just heard bossy. You got a bossy boots going on here. Um, someone sees you as being bossy, Leo, but I think you're just being very firm. Like I said, you were being a little pushy, whoever that was. But I feel like it's it's just. I feel like it's very warranted. But you're dealing with someone who likes control. I can feel that. They like control, but they don't like the responsibility of control. I don't know what that's about. They like the control, they don't like the responsibility. Like if this person were to run a business, um, like they would like to call themselves CEO or boss but they wouldn't actually do anything <laughs> they wouldn't actually play the role now we have wheel of fortune jupiter energy which is retrograding in sagittarius and we have the ten of wands which is sagittarian energy i do feel like that's at play here for some of you that's at play they really drew me into the astrological association for some reason um jupiter goes direct on august 11th on August 11th some of this might um play all the way out until mid-august when it does go direct but either way either way 
Um, Leo, you want to push ahead. You want to push forward. This tower coming down, again, I do feel like it is an altercation. I do feel like it is an argument, but it is pushing things in the right direction. It's pushing things forward, even if it's a lot of work, even if it's a lot of work, which doesn't scare you. You're ready for it. It's like anything to be happy, anything to be happy. Tell me about the tower. I'm getting paperwork. I think there's a lot of paperwork involved in whatever this altercation tower moment is to push you forward. Tell me about the tower. It's only for some of you, not all of you. Tell me about the tower for Leo regarding love, July 1st to the 11th. Tell me about the tower. All right, wow. Last card out. We have three of cups in reverse. Can't say an energy. No celebration between the two of you here. Wow. Yeah, no celebration between the two of you here. You have three threes, by the way. Just seeing the synchronicities. You got three threes. I'm getting a lot of disappointed people too. There's something about this that's disappointing your inner circle or your, you know, social network that you share with this person, work or otherwise. Some of this is definitely work. It's picking up on that paperwork really strong. Um, under your under the boot? Under the boot? What the hell is that? Under the boot? Oh, under their boot. Oh, they tried to keep you under their boot. <laughs> it's a very old saying. That's funny how that came in. But anyway, that's what I'm getting. I'm also getting a very upset social circle shocked i just heard shocked they might be very shocked at whatever's going down when they get the news of this overall energy for the tower we have five of wands in reverse leo energy you're done with the fighting you're done you're so done you're like i'm out i'm not doing this anymore i know what's best for me i know how to live my best life and it isn't like this so it needs to change leo i think you finally accepted that there's no dealing with this person in a rational way to get to your ten of cups to get to your emotional fulfillment i think you've finally accepted it you've tried working with this person and clearly it hasn't it, it just hasn't been panning out now uh yeah i know i know let's get into it though let's get into it let's look at the seven of swords I'm using legacy to clarify tell me about seven of swords for leo regarding love July 1st to the 11th. So we have a Seven of Swords for Leo regarding love. July 1st to the 11th. Tell me about Seven of Swords for Leo regarding love. July 1st to the 11th. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Page of Wands. Mmm. <laughs> What did I say, Leo? You're planning, some of you are planning an escape. <laughs> some of you are planning an escape because you, you know there's no dealing with this person, even if it hurts. Even if it hurts, you're like, it might hurt, but it's gonna lead me to the path I need to be on. Others where this is a more cheating, meddling, third party um, energy, um, there is some kind of flirtatious energy going on around a sneaky behavior. Tell me about Seven of Swords. Someone might be flirting with, with another person. New. I just heard new. A new person. Okay. Tell me about Seven of Swords. I feel like it's, it's interesting though. It's like it's coming in after this tower. No, coinciding. Oh, sorry, my guides are correcting me a lot today. Coinciding. Some of you it is coming after this altercation. Others it's coinciding with it. Like this, like you or, or your person might be um, reaching out to someone out of comfort you know, it's like when a relationship's gone on too long and when things get really bad or gnarly, right? Um, it's like you fight, you fight, you fight. And sometimes, and I'm not, and again, no shade to anybody who's done this, you know? It's, excuse me. Sometimes it just happens um, where, you know, you're feeling so awful in your own relationship because it's toxic or not healthy, right? Or imbalanced. And it's like you're kind of seeking out that little bit of TLC that you're not getting in your relationship. If that's happening, Leo... That's a sign you just need to leave, you know? Tell me about Seven of Swords. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Planning my escape route. <laughs> Leo, I love you. I love you so much. Um, others, I do feel a little bit of like flirty energy towards someone new, towards a new opportunity that is much more stable. Like an opportunity where you're going to have a lot more mental stability because the person you're dealing with doesn't give that to you it, they actually do everything they can to make sure you don't have mental stability and peace tell me about seven of swords for leo leo you could be the one doing the flirting i'm just saying someone's doing it it's not clear who it is i do feel like it is more the leos but like i said it's energy either one of you could be doing it everyone's in a different spot tell me about seven of swords for leo 
regarding love, July 1st to the 11th. Let's see what we got here. Oh, but we do have justice, Libra energy with the Six of Swords, Aquarian energy. Justice comes out in this position when it is the right thing. Oh, I know how that sounds and I just felt it from some of you. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just telling you what the cards are saying, okay? This is movement ahead, movement towards peace, movement to the next thing. Leos, some of you are planning an escape because it's just the right thing. It's just the right thing for you to do. And even Spirit's giving you the thumbs up because you can't deal with, with this person. They don't collaborate with you. They don't work with you. How can you How can you have a conversation with someone to leave if they refuse to collaborate with you and discuss shit with you? You can't. So some of you are planning a little bit of an escape. It is going to make bring a lot of peace, a lot more mental stability, and you're not going to be as fatigued anymore. Others, it is because you're flirting with a person and you're heading towards that person. Again, this could be the other person as well. You, If it's you, you know it's you. And if it ain't you, you know it's the other person, okay? Overall energy for the Seven of Swords, we do have Four of Cups in reverse, can't see your energy. Some of you are just bored of the situation, like I said. You don't have any, um, any passion for it anymore. Others, you're just totally rejecting it or you feel rejected by your partner. Some of you actually feel rejected from your partner because of the way they communicate with you. Where's the love? I just said, where's the love? Like, where's the love in your voice? Yeah, some of you are even saying that to this person. Underneath the four of cups in reverse, we do have three of swords in reverse. So healing. So this is going to be painful for the person you're leaving behind, Leo. It's definitely going to be painful for them. It's been painful for you. But you making this choice to get out, again, it could just be an escape route that you're planning. Others is because you're interested in someone else. You're moving towards someone else. But you just feel rejected by your partner. It's like, you don't talk to me with love. You don't talk to me with kindness. You don't talk to me with respect. You do nothing but tear me down and burden me. I'm like, where's the love? It ain't here. It ain't here. Let's look at Ace of Wands in reverse, and then we'll pull some um, advice. I'm going to use Alice in Wonderland to clarify. Let's talk about Ace of Wands in reverse. For Leo. Regarding love, July 1st to the 11th. Some of you definitely have someone you're moving towards. I'm actually getting a lot of water energy. They could be a water sign or they could just be very emotionally fulfilling. <laughs> Unlike this person, right? Because that's what you're lacking. That's what you're going for. They could just make you feel very emotionally nourished. Tell me about Ace of Wands in reverse. For Leo, regarding love, July 1st to the 11th. Okay. Tell me about Ace of Wands in reverse for Leo. Regarding love. July 1st to the 11th. Tell me about Ace of Wands in reverse for Leo. Regarding love. July 1st to the 11th. I'm still being drawn to this altercation. Tell me about Ace of Wands in reverse for Leo. Regarding love, July 1st to the 11th. You know, for those of you where it's like a coinciding energy of like you've been flirting with someone and it's around the tower, that might be causing the tower. Because this, this card's also a card about um, competition. And this could be ending a third party situation, maybe just by leaving this person. I think that's definitely going on for some of you. Tell me about, so we care, if, okay. Any y'all playing around with flirting with anybody while you're in a relationship, just be careful. Just be careful, all right? Tell me about Ace of Wands in reverse. I'm not advocating cheating by any means. I'm just saying, if you want out of a relationship, you get out of a relationship. You gotta do it the right way. Tell me about Ace of Wands in reverse. For Leo, regarding love, July 1st to the 11th. Wow, this, this, oh, there we go. Oh my, King of Cups in reverse. Scorpionic energy could also be water or air. Yeah, you don't have any emotion for this situation or person anymore. Let's see what else we've got. Or again, you could just be heading towards a water sign like I picked up on a Scorpio, maybe. Can I have Ace of Wands in reverse? Can I have Ace of Wands in reverse for Leo regarding love? July 1st to the 11th. Can I have Ace of Wands in reverse for Leo regarding love? July 1st to the 11th. Wow, yeah, Knight of Wands, Sagittarian energy could also be Aries or Leo. Yeah, you're getting the hell out of Dodge. <laughs> you're getting the hell out of Dodge. Overall energy for the Ace of Wands in reverse, we do have the King of Pentacles in reverse. Taurus energy could also be Earth or Air. I feel like this is the energy of the person you've been dealing with. Someone who's very greedy, actually. Someone who's very greedy, very controlling, very, like, um, they switch. They switch on a dime is actually what I just got. They switch on a dime. 
um, from being a little calm, not like loving, just calm, like calm and quiet to all of a sudden they're like badgering you. <coughs> Get a little water. Sorry, guys. Yeah, then all of a sudden they're like badgering you. Mm. Uh, excuse me. Either way, like I said, you don't have emotion for the situation anymore and you're getting the hell out of Dodge. You're not dealing with it. Overall energy? No, overall energy. Why did I say that? Advice. <laughs> All over the place today, guys. Advice, advice. I'm a lot more rested. I needed the rest. I really needed the rest. I can't believe how much I slept. Um, but I could use more. I could definitely use more. <laughs> Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Yeah, some of you, you might be planning now. I'm, they're be, they're drawing me to this, the Jupiter, the Ju Jupiter and Sag energy. Um, Leo, you might be planning now, but for some of you, you're not actually going to leave until August. That's only for some of you, though. But definitely Jupiter has got something to do with this, okay? For some of you. Any advice for Leo regarding this spread? Any advice for Leo? regarding this spread. I think you even see this person that you're trying to leave is very unstable. Unstable. <laughs> very unstable. Sorry, I know. Where's, where's my English at? Very unstable. And I think you're really waking up to it. I think initially you're like, oh, they're quirky. Or, oh, they're just crazy and fun. And not so crazy and fun anymore, you know? Any advice for Leo? Regarding this spread, any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? The cards want to talk. I can feel it. Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Whoa. Oh, Leo. Whale spirit. Uh, trust in the great mystery. 65 breaking down to an 11. This is usually a Piscean card for me or a water sign card. So it's funny because I felt like you guys were heading towards, some of you were heading towards a water sign. Oh, some of you definitely are. I'm getting a download. Give me a minute. Hmm. Something about going deep. Get your head out of the gutter. I just heard that. <laughs> I just heard that. Get your head out of the gutter. Um, Leo, you are seeking emotional fulfillment first and foremost. Even for those of you who don't have this water sign person. Okay, so this advice is going to apply to all of you. Um... You've been dealing with the situation for so long that you're just like, it's not that you forgot how to go within deeply, but you're just really needing to. It's almost like you've been in a desert, which is more your element, but you've been in a desert for like too long, too long without any water, too long without that emotional fulfillment. And now you're like, where's the ocean? <laughs> <laughs> where's where's the ocean where's the deepest lake I can jump into you're really needing yeah you're needing that deep emotional dive you need to be emotionally nourished right now you need that you need that for some healing too honestly and to gain some of your confidence back to gain some of your oh my god it's funny I just realized there's a lion on that horse I just realized that to gain back some of your lion fierceness and your lion lion confidence you probably need to work a lot on your solar plexus too which is going to come into play in July, more towards the end. But definitely solar plexus uh, chakra is going to play a big role for you in the month of July. But Leo, oh man, like you're you're so needing water. You are so dehydrated. I'm surprised you haven't died from dehydration, honestly. Um, others of you, like I said, some of you do have an actual like water sign or someone who's very watery. They don't have to be water sign specifically, but they have water qualities. Um, that really gives that to you. And I think that's also what's helping you wake up. And you're like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This feels really good. Wait, I know this feeling. This feeling feels familiar. It's almost like you forgot, Leo. You forgot what that feels like. And it feels damn good. And it's like, no wonder. It's it's like, it's like you know, you're smelling the coffee. And for those, again, we don't have this kind of a person. This is what you're needing to do. Go find a lake. Go find, go find an emotional lake to dive into, okay? Within yourself. 
Now we have, oh, I love this. Squirrel spirit, believe in yourself. 57, that breaks down to a three, okay? You gotta have the confidence to get out of this. And Leo, like I said, there's something about this reminder of like of what you've been missing, what you've really been needing and craving for some of you. You can have it. You just gotta go for it. And for those of you where you have your sights on a water sign of some sort, or again, someone who's watery, who just provides that emotional nourishment for you, you can go for it. Get out of this situation first. Do not do the whole double dipping thing. Try not to. Try really hard not to. Please don't do that. It's just not, it's just not kosher, right? Um, you can do it. You can definitely go. You can go there with this person. You, that's what they're telling me. You can go there with this person. Let's see what else we've got. Any other advice for my lions? Some of you are also afraid to face what you're feeling. Or what you've been blocking out from feeling. Don't be afraid to go there. Don't be afraid of water. It's just water. Don't be afraid. Any advice for Leo? Oh, yes. I love that card. Any advice for Leo regarding this spread? Any advice for Leo regarding this spread? I love it, guys. Oh, I love it. Horse spirit. Freedom is yours with the energy of 33. Some of you are dealing with a horse sign. Any of those who are into Chinese astrology felt that really strong for some reason. Uh, you have an 11, a master number, energy of three, which is, you know, I consider that to be a very divine number, right? It's the body, mind, soul. It's the trinity. Um, it is collaborating with others, even just spirit. Um, and then you have 33. <laughs> Another master number and technically, you know, 33 and a three, right? But freedom is yours. You can break away from this, Leo. You can break away from this. Oh, all this white. This is one of the only cards that is all white with a splash of purple um this is a card that's also about ascension for me spiritual awakenings being you know rising oh, jesus raising your vibration excuse me raising your vibration and being so beautiful and majestic in the process leo you are very majestic people you are and i you know i kind of joke sometimes especially because my mom is a leo um there is such a radiance about leos that i feel like they can be a little prideful about it some people don't like that that leos are a little prideful but they're just that majestic right like a horse a horse is very majestic even though they're even though they're animals they do have a sense of pride right just like lions do because there's that majestic respect that kind of comes with being those those and being in those energies but leo you can have this freedom you can break away from this restriction you can do what you want you can raise your vibration and you can have emotional fulfillment you can have it you just gotta have the confidence that you can and the confidence to go deep into those emotional waters that you're so needing right now, especially for those who need major healing. Um, and especially those who also have a very nourishing person, emotional nourishing person, um, you can go for this person. Have the confidence, Leo. They're going to help you return to a nine of pentacles because this person made you feel like this, made you feel pretty crappy, made you feel like a piece of poop under their boot. Okay. This nourishing person can bring you back to where you were and where you're supposed to be. And oh my God, I just saw this. Overall, look at this. White Raven spirit, trust in the magic. <laughs> this is the last card in the deck and it's another master number, 66. And it's actually a master number people don't really talk about. And I, I've noticed that you don't see this one a lot in numerology, which I don't really know why. If you think about it, I don't really know why that is. Because this is like, this is to, to me, I mean, just intuitively what I'm getting. It's having such balance within yourself and such awareness of others and the environment and the esoteric, like the whole big picture of how everything works that it's almost like guru status is kind of how it feels to me. This is this experience, making this decision, standing up for your emotional fulfillment is going to really raise you to a whole new level that you were not anticipating for yourself, okay? Trust that all of this is happening for a reason in the way that it's happening and trust in the magic of, of healing. Trust in the magic of the energy that you're feeling with whoever this new person is. Because for some of you, there, you have a person, others you don't. But keep trusting that what you're doing is the right thing. Keep trusting it and have the confidence that you're making the right decision and you're gonna be free. But don't be afraid to get wet okay <laughs> all right guys i hope you guys enjoyed that don't forget to go on patreon facebook instagram and twitter and i will see you guys later bye leo